Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3305. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, the Elite Dangerous launcher fouls. The April content is about to be revealed on a Frontier livestream and we take a look at the scowl of the Messier 87 black hole. Yesterday, Elite Dangerous received a launcher update. Now, this didn't appear to alter anything drastic and is likely in preparation for the upcoming update on April the 23rd. However, the launcher update did cause some unexpected problems. Players very quickly found that they were unable to launch the Horizons version of Elite despite owning a copy. Instead, the game would load them into the vanilla version of Elite, cutting them off from a vast amount of content that they should have access to. Meanwhile, users who launched the game through Steam also found that their game would not work. Frontier were pretty quick to respond to this and posted to Twitter that they were looking into the issue. Fortunately, a workaround for the Steam issue was also available. Now, whilst the problem wasn't affecting all users, it appeared to be causing difficulty for a significant number. As of this recording, the Frontier Issues Tracker still shows this problem as a confirmed issue. However, a tweet from Frontier states that the issue is now resolved. I'm curious then to know if any of you have had or are still experiencing trouble with the launcher. Let me know in the comments section. The April update is due in a little over one week, and Frontier will be putting on a reveal livestream on Thursday the 18th of April. The livestream will cover all upcoming content in the new update, and to summarise here, the April update is focused on improving the new player experience and as such, most content is aimed at the early stages of the game. However, there are some improvements that will be beneficial to all players. Here then is a very quick rundown of what the April update will contain. A beginner's zone, an advanced docking computer that will undock your ship. Supercruise Assist is a module that will manage your supercruise speed and drop you into regular space at the right moment. All ships will gain additional optional module slots. Small ships gain two size one slots, whilst medium and large ships gain one size one slot. The navigation tab over on the left hand side of your ship will be upgraded to offer more information, much of it visual. At the trading screen is going to be improved. Links from within the cockpit will take you directly to the pilot's handbook and interstellar initiatives are listed as the new upcoming community events. Now a quick note here on interstellar initiatives, when this was announced last week I did talk about them very briefly in a video and I'd assumed or speculated on the text that Frontier wrote that these may be some type of battle pass form of gameplay. Now Frontier have confirmed that this is not the case and that they are instead some type of events or event based gameplay. But the details are still sparse so I guess we'll have to see. Now for the full details do take a look at Frontier's announcement in the video description. The Frontier livestream can be seen at 6pm UTC on Frontier's YouTube channel. Now on a related note here, as the April update is focused on the new player experience, I was interested in finding out how many viewers are actually new players. So I've set up a poll on my channel where, if you're interested, you can detail how long you've been playing Elite. You can find a link to the poll in the video description. Last week, the first ever image of a black hole was revealed. The image was assembled using the Event Horizon Telescope by a team of over 200 members. The black hole itself is located in the Messier 87 galaxy, which is actually 55 million light years away from our own, so quite a significant distance. Naturally, the image has been the subject of much discussion. David Braben himself posted a fun comparison to Twitter of the black hole in Elite. Meanwhile, Reddit user Bloodstein created an image to explain just how large the black hole actually is. You can see the image on the screen right here, and using our own solar system as a central reference and the Hutton orbital at the most extreme edges of the image, it really does convey just how big this black hole is. Now, the accuracy of the scale used in this image may well be debatable by some people, but with the black hole M87 being around 100 billion kilometers in size, it certainly makes for an interesting visual concept. One of the oldest and dare I say greatest Elite Dangerous YouTubers returned recently with a brand new video. Isonona's latest video once again focuses on his adventures within the Elite Galaxy. For those that haven't seen his videos before, 
Isonona uses a unique style of text-based commentary to tell his story as the events unfold on screen. It can often make for some very compelling viewing. To watch the latest video, do take a look at the link in the video description. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3305. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.